So um, we will talk about Natsume Cho, Eugene Cho song, um, um, the first anime, episode one. I have to say, I saw the um, first two seasons of Natsume Eugene Cho. The first season I thought was great. It was um, the stories where, uh, well, if you know the story, it's about a, a man, a, a boy who sees um, spirits, and um, he has a book called A Book of Friends, in which his grandmother went around, you know, town. Defeating spirits and putting their name and buying and bound their names to the book and and he on his own you know he on his own time gives them spirits back their names so that's the basic setup but this but but there are all these like there are all these stories you know concerning you know you know the spirits and the gods and how the spirits and gods interact with humans and then there's a there's a theme of how you know because of um, civilization and because of modernity the gods and the spirits are dying off. Or they're weakening, and because nobody believes in them, and so so you have this, you know, spirits who are, you know, sad, you know, because no one, sees, no no one, no human wants to worship them anymore. But anyway, that's just a side. The first season was I thought was really great. The stories were, um, the stories were, the stories were sappy for the most part, but they were also be, they were also um, bittersweet in terms of like, it wasn't like it wasn't a great ending. It wasn't, you know, it, 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 they weren't all, you know, happy endings. It's like, maybe a lot of it was like really sad endings, but like sad in sort of like an adult way. Um, the second season was a bit, the, the second season I thought was too sad. It, the stories were, you know, it, they were, I, that, it seems like they were trying too hard to, uh, you know, trying too hard to like, tug on your heartstrings, um, heartstrings, and I kind of don't like it. I mean, it's, I didn't think the second season was as good. So now we have the third season, so which is um, so it's the same setup. He's the same guy. He's not old. He's not any older, and he still has his book of friends, and he still has to like deal with all this troublesome yokai who have who you know come to him to give him his you know to demand their names, and he still has to um, you know he he lives with foster parents, and he's trying his very best not to um, not to rankle them too much. The foster parents, for all intents and purposes, are good, and they're not kind to him, but he doesn't think that you know. If it suddenly if it tells his foster parents like oh yeah I see spirits I see dead people he doesn't think how much you know the foster parents would like would like that too much so so he's so so you get a sense of a guy who is you know pressed on both ends you have the yokai troubling him and then he has his own personal and then you have you know the humans who and his personal and he's trying not to you know, ruffle too many feathers so you have this so. With this first episode, there was a little thing. There was like two stories interconnected with like you know the yokai teapot, teacup, which I thought was somewhat cute. So apparently, if you throw a teacup away, it gets a spirit from the earth, and then the teacup develops, you know, becomes, you know, gets a spirit, and then so you have this teacup with legs, which is a bit creepy. But but then if 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 the teacup feels you know that, that you are if Tiba feels that something bad is going to happen, he's going to run around the house with this pattering sound, trying to get people up. And if it feels, if the Tika feels, you know, like that's loyal enough, he would sacrifice himself to prevent cal um, calamity from happening. So that was one kind of Tika. And then of course there is the, uh, just I guess it's strange because it's like then there was another yokai, the evil yokai who is trying to eat, you know, who is trying to eat, you know, the, um, Takashi. That's his name, you know, Takashi. Takashi and the name of it. Does that those there are those two ends with the yokai who is trying to eat the takashi and then there was a teacup which is sort of doesn't really fit and then of course then there was then there was a main story about um, like an old woman with them um, who is blind and it, it turns out also to be a yokai actually she's not a yokai she's a she's a god who has a shrine and it's sort of a confusing story in which like she met the grandmother Reiko san the uh, uh, Natsumi's grandmother. Um, and then she met her years ago, and she did not remember that she had given Reiko san her name. Um, so Reiko san challenges the yokai to a battle. And for some reason, she always wins. She always wins, and then she takes their names, like a hawk, like a name. And for some reason, that's and it kind of reduces the reduces the power of spirits. She doesn't remember she has the name, and there was some. It's couldn't quite you know under, understand it, but but apparently. The, the grandmother had a tree who was um, who had a, a, a evil spirit who was hot which was 
which was possessed by evil spirit and did and he could not have flowers anymore and the grandmother was trying to the old woman was uh, touching it a mirror to like defeat the evil spirit and then but she meets a um, miracle son who has his mirror and Reiko san gives him the mirror and they, 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 they develop a friendship with but then Reiko san doesn't at first know that the the, the old woman is a, is a spirit and then when she learns that she's a spirit she feels somewhat disappointed because you know Reiko san is a lonely old is a lonely bitch she's, she's a lonely girl and she's like and she thought she was she had a, she, had, she thought she had a human friend for once but no it was another spirit too like she and then of course when she when she meets spirits like oh i challenge you and then Got her name, but in the end, Reiko san helps the woman defeat the exercise of spirit from her tree. And then the old woman meets the guy, and the old woman, in the end, you know, meets up with Natsumi and gets her name back. But still, it's sort of like this the stories where, like, and then the evil spirit, you know, the evil spirit who was trying to eat Natsumi comes in the end, and you know, and then oh, yeah, and then you have the cat. Oh, how can I forget the cat? Not to make calls sense. The cat is sort of like he's a, he's a lazy cat, a lazy ass cat. So the cat is supposed to like act like Natsumi's guard, but he's not acting out of his house of business. He acts so that he could he can get to the um so that when the boy dies he gets the book of friends for himself and then he has all this power over the spirits. And he's too lazy to de- he he um he lazily defends Natsumi against his evil spirit and then upper the evil spirit he goes back to the house and then the the teacup sacrifices himself to save the house, whatever. But whatever, the story is. Um, so, I guess in the bitter seat part, the bitter part is that the teacup dies to save himself, crashes on the floor. But still, it's sort of like. It's happening. Yeah, it's, you know, it's in. But that's not to me. That's not to me. I didn't joke for you. It's, it's happy. You just hope that, you know, you just hope that the stories get a little bit more. Uh, what's the word? Contemplative. I could I could do it with Sabi once in a while. It's but it's also Sabi in the sense that it's, it's, it's and it could be a bit more bittersweet. It could be I guess it could be a little more bitter. Yeah, they should add a little more bitterness and then to complement the to complement the happiness. But so um, when I watch it, yeah, it's 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 cute. You know, you watch once every week, and you know that's it's certainly not you know can't have a dog. But um, it's cute. So um, you watch it. You know, it might be it might be boring for you guys. Oh yeah, then the opening and ending songs. Yeah, compared to the Kamisama dolls and opening songs and um, themes, they they are um, they really are like you know syrupy J-pop. I can personally I can't stand J-pop. <laughs> I can't stand you know J-rock. I, I personally I can't stand it. Um, so if you like that sort of thing, you am sure you'll like it. Anyway, so we'll talk about that next. We'll talk about the next um, episode two next week. <laughs>